some right there. Hi guys. Hi. Um, uh, we're so sorry. We have uh, a little technical. Um, technical difficulty. That's why we have to restart the video. And uh, I'm now going to talk about. I just want to make this a joke. There's a lot of questions. I feel like women are really special. I feel like we're we're just in a good way complicated. I was reminded that you know um, it takes um, 75 years to understand one human being by reading the genetic code. We have four genetic codes for for uh, DNA. So if you you read that code one code per second, study shows that. It, it will take 75 years to understand one human being and I always joke that if it's a female creation multiply 75 by 2 and you will understand women after 200 years so that's how uh, beautifully um, uh, how beautiful and intricate we are created truly by the Lord um, in his image so now um, I just want to discuss um, if you are approaching menopause and I'm talking to you if you're about 45 or 46 up to 52 that's the average um, length for a, for a woman to experience menopause that um, you have to foresee problems like um, heart attack you have increased risk for heart attack stroke and osteo, um, osteoporosis because again um, the production of estrogen in our ovary and uh, progesterone they they also affect you know the level of cholesterol in the blood cholesterol in itself is not bad in fact um, the precursor of our hormones like estrogen progesterone the dehydroepiandrosterone is actually coming from they come from cholesterol and uh, you know the membranes of our brain the cell membranes of our cellular structure they are made, make, made up of cholesterol so cholesterol in itself is not bad you know, for in order for us to have a nice skin, we need um, um, cholesterol. And in fact, like say avocado is a good source of healthy um, fat or cholesterol. So when we approach menopause, we don't have our decreasing levels of estrogen, and uh, now we have an increased levels of, of bad cholesterol. Remember that cholesterol is fat. You know, they don't dissolve in blood because blood is pretty much the same um, um, quality as, as the water. So they float in um, the blood. That's why they have to mix with the protein produced by the liver. Uh, so, so that we have the cholesterol protein complex. So the liver produces two types of protein. One is the good one, the high density um, lipoprotein. That's the good one. We need to have that. If you read your lab works and it says at least 60, then we love it. You know, the, the lesser your high density lipoprotein, the more prone you are to developing coronary artery disease or heart attack. The low density um, lipoprotein is, is called the bad cholesterol because they are the ones that float in your blood. And uh, if, you, if they're just, you know, swimming there in your bloodstream, then they deposit um, in, the, in the innermost lining of your blood vessel or your coronary arteries. And the coronary coronary artery is the one that um, supplies the muscles of your heart so um, heart attack is nothing but the deposition of this plaque you know it's 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 like a, a foam cell there's a smooth muscle in there and they mix with cholesterol and pretty soon when they block the the full diameter of your coronary arteries that's when you get a heart attack and you know that because you will experience a sudden chest pain more than 30 minutes it's described as having an elephant in your chest it's crushing chest pain it doesn't go away when you take like nitroglycerin under your tongue three times every five minutes sometimes be careful because um, if you have diabetes for example you don't typically uh, present like a textbook description some people would just say uh, they have a little bit of indigestion like nausea or vomiting or fatigue or just a little tingling sensation in this little pinky of um, their um, fingers. So just be aware of that. Another thing is as you grow older, you are now more prone to hypertension. I don't know, you guys have probably heard the recent um, guideline that it's no longer 140 over 90, 
definition of stage one high blood pressure but it's already 130 over 80 they lower it down so if your blood pressure is constantly in the 130 over 80 then you better um, start exercising really make it intentional to eat um, veggie avoid red meat avoid uh, cheese you know um, just maybe chicken breast and uh, fish and uh, a lot of a lot of fiber another thing is if you are menopause plus you are high blood pressure plus you have diabetes your uh, risk of developing heart attack is two times to three times than the average person experiencing uh, menopause so again avoid refined sugar last night oh my gosh if you're diabetic and you ate a lot of pumpkin pie and all the blueberry cheesecake to, again today is another day to exercise and just you know take care of our health god meant for us to live in um, abundance and joy and peace but it is not a passive relationship the lord always want us to partner with knowledge partner with wisdom i was reminded in proverbs there is a passage there that says that you know if you are simple if you don't have knowledge you don't you just keep going your path without uh, foreseeing danger but if you are wise and uh, that's what we're doing with you right now we were we are equipping you with knowledge then you can prepare like if you are 30 years old right now everything's okay you're active no hot flushes no osteoporosis then you can just start eating and uh, exercising eating good so that when you hit menopause all your blood works are are good you don't have the bad cholesterol another thing that we should look for in our blood work is the triglyceride level triglyceride triglyceride is like um it's also a form of fat and some people i know patients who have over 300 and that is not it's it's not good as well you also increases your your risk for um heart attack so age think about age hypertension if you are smoking and again you increase your risk of heart attack if you are drinking alcohol if you are you know you're not exercising if you are immobile also it increases your risk of cholesterol so make sure that you take care of those um, risk factors especially um, if you also have a, a family member that has a heart attack um, in their early years before 60 then you're also prone to having heart attack number two that I want to emphasize is again um, osteo um, porosis you know I I want to emphasize this because I've seen a lot of uh, menopausal women that only had one episode of hip fracture and that destroyed their life because now they're gonna be in the convalescent home for the rest of their lives because uh, as you approach menopause your bone becomes brittle and porous and uh, without you knowing it you have already lost about 40 percent of your bone mass and uh, especially if you are um, like Caucasian female you are more prone to osteoporosis African Americans you have uh, more protective um, you have more protection against osteoporosis us Asians are also prone to osteoporosis especially if you are short and thin I'm only a little bit taller because of my high heels and also if you have history of uh, kidney problems you are prone to osteoporosis use of prednisone or um, steroid if you have uh, a part of your intestines removed you know you also are, are prone to osteoporosis if you're smoking if you're drinking if you're uh, taking a lot of caffeine you coffee lovers be careful not to drink a lot because it also um, makes you really prone to osteoporosis those who are not taking calcium or vitamin d those who have um, chronic malabsorption syndrome with chronic diarrhea you guys are prone to um, developing osteoporosis plus again uh, menopause so um, if you are belong to those one of those category I just pray that you partner with the Lord and use wisdom and really uh, discipline it's all about choices if we make the right choices now then um, we pretty much gonna enjoy this life that God has given us and just you know 
serve him, loving people, enjoy your your family and your kids. You will see them graduate from high school, um, attend college, and see your grandkids. That's pretty much our goal here. So we love you guys, me and Dr. Zizan. It is our heart to to just educate and loving you. Amen.